Hey guys, so today's video is a DIY workout equipment video. Um, I didn't really plan on doing this, it's just as the projects came about over the past few weeks, I just kind of hit record on my phone. Um, and we have three projects here that we ended up doing just to kind of add to our garage gym that we have here at home during quarantine. All the gyms are closed, all the stores, uh, workout aisles are completely cleared out. Every time I go, I always do a quick walk through a Walmart or Target to see if there's any dumbbells or even yoga mats are all gone, like everything's just cleared out. So we decided to see if we could kind of throw together our own uh, equipment, like stuff that we didn't have in our current little setup. So we don't have a box, we don't have dumbbells. And those are kind of the things that we really did miss about our gym. So here is my husband and my boys just measuring and cutting this big sheet of plywood we got from Home Depot. It was $35 and it fit everything we needed for the box and had a little bit left over for the next little project. And honestly, I don't know all the measurements and stuff. I just kind of asked him to do it. He kind of took over and handled it. I believe he watched a couple YouTube videos. I know there's a ton out there for actual instructions. So I'm not telling you how to do it or showing you how to do it. I'm just showing you what we did. Just vlog style, like this is what we did. Here you go. It was pretty easy. He had everything we needed except for the wood. Um, so yeah, if you've got simple power tools, you can definitely handle this. Um, so he cut the measurements off after doing his research and I just kind of helped him hold it together, glue it while he drilled pilot holes and then screwed those, I think there were two inch nails in. Um, yeah, it was pretty simple. He did definitely need me to help because we had no types of clamps or anything like that. Um, kind of blurry here, sorry about that. But again, it was easy. If you are wanting something to do step ups or jumps or anything and you don't have a bench or anything like that, this was an easy, cheap little DIY. He is cutting out some handles just so it's easier to move in and out of the garage or to flip to different heights. So there are three different heights that this box will hit for me. Um, you know, I want to say it's like 24, 28, and 32 inches. I could be wrong, um, but it worked out really well. We glued and screwed everything together and then we really, really sanded it. Like we spent a good amount of time sanding just so that nobody gets any splinters. We don't have any issues with that. So it's very nice and smooth now. I even used some wood filler for some splits that the wood had previously. Um, so this is it. It's not perfect, it, but it does what it needs to do and I'm uh, happy with it. So the next little project is something we saw at Walmart were these uh, dumbbell handles um, that you're meant to put plates on but all of our plates, the hole in the center is too large. These fit one inch uh, plates. And so the plate, our plates just kind of slide right into the grip area. So he's just cut out some wood from the extra plywood. Um, he used this little circle saw thingy right here to give us the perfect size. And um, yeah, we needed something to stop the plates from sliding to the handle grip part. Um, oh yeah, here they are. Dumbbell handles. These were like $10, $12 from Walmart and that's the first time we've seen anything in the in the aisle, the workout aisle at Walmart. So we grabbed it even though we knew it didn't fit what we had. Um, but it really, it worked out well. We knew we just needed to make a little stop somehow and it was pretty simple. Okay, so this is all my husband again. He saw someone do this. It's a pulley system. He spent maybe like under $20 on this. At Home Depot, he got some rope. Um, this is very <laughs> budget, very, um, I don't wanna say ghetto, but it's kind of like a, a ghetto way to throw together some workout equipment. And honestly, it works. Nobody's gotten hurt. It runs smoothly. Anyway, he's just throwing this together. He likes to use the, um, like, the pulley systems and machines at our gym. And we obviously don't have that here. Um, so he just threw this together. He's putting, <laughs> he only had electrical tape to kind of cover the rope so it's a better grip for him. Um, again, it's very like homemade, you know what I mean? 
but honestly it's safe. You, this wouldn't be up in a gym for sure, but I'm completely comfortable using it in our home. Oh, sorry, that's a lot of dead time right there. But he threw it together with this cable. It, it was a whole kit, the cable and the little screws and clips that he's using. It all came in one set and it was like $7 at Home Depot. And so we ended up clipping it to where our TRX band hangs in the ceiling because that holds a lot of weight. Um, so you can kind of see there, it's just this little pulley system that he threw together and it works really, really well. So now I'm just gonna show you kind of my favorite ways to use them or the ways I use them most often. I use this box every day. I don't use the pulley system every day just cause I've got <laughs> the little dumbbells now that I can use. Um, but it's nice to have. Um, and also I know like we did not make these the most professional way that you could do it. I know there was not goggles and gloves and like super safe gear used, but you know what, this is just a backyard project. Um, my husband could get his hands on and my kids could watch and learn and be a part of. And, oh, speaking of kids, there's, there's my um, Zion who likes to climb all over this box. Um, but like I said, it was just like a simple, chill, I know it's not perfect, I know we weren't, um, it's not the safest, whatever, but I'm happy with it. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope somebody got some ideas on how to stay active during this crazy time. So those are the little projects that we did. Super inexpensive, especially since um, they're kind of just for right now, uh, since our gyms are closed. I mean, these aren't stuff that we want to use forever in our home gym. It's just kind of what can we do to get some equipment real quick, real cheap, so that we can work out while everything's kind of down. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.